graduates, staff, parents, grandparents, guests. Welcome to the closing exercises for the Edge School Class of 2020. This year marks the 21st anniversary of the school and the 17th graduating class at Edge. My name is Keith Taylor. I'm the principal at Edge, and I have the pleasure of being your MC. Grads, before we get started, I would encourage you to don your graduation cap for the duration of the ceremony and be prepared for the ceremonial toss at the end. It seems appropriate to start by addressing the elephant in the room. I think we can all agree that COVID-19 has been wreaking havoc on our lives. Among the many consequences of this uninvited guest is a graduation ceremony and celebration that none of us envisioned. The events of the last few months have provided a backdrop for the advice that will be woven through today's ceremony. To be clear, the advice is not intended to put a positive spin on difficult circumstances. Instead, we hope that you can appreciate some timeless guidance that seems particularly appropriate given the current circumstances. The word graduate comes from the Latin word gratis, which means a step towards something. Grads, your Edge family is very proud of the steps you have taken so far. In the words of the staff, the Edge School Class of 2020 are leaders. You are talented, kind, and respected. You are creative, energetic, positive, and focused. You are conscientious, personable, genuine, and resilient. As a staff, we have confidence and hope for the future because you, the Edge School Class of 2020, are stepping into this uncertain future with a sense of purpose, passion, and hope. Hi grads, it's Miranda Rosen here, your MLE for Banff Kananaskis. You've done it. After 13 years of hard work, studying, and tests, you finally graduated high school. I am so proud of you. I know today might not be exactly how you always dreamt of spending your graduation day, but I hope that you and your friends can still have fun celebrating together and that you'll still feel so proud of everything you've accomplished. And as you embark on this next chapter of your life, I really want to encourage you. As one of the youngest MLAs in our government, at only age 25, I assure you that there is nothing you can't accomplish as long as you set your heart and mind to it. No dream is too big and nothing is out of your reach as long as you work your hardest and really believe in what you want to do. And trust me, people are going to tell you that you're too young to accomplish your dreams or that you're too inexperienced to go there. But those are just barriers you'll have to overcome and I know that you can overcome them because you're amazing and if you love what you do and you're passionate about it, nothing can stand in your way. Trust me, all you need to change the world is a big heart and to be passionate about what you do. So grads, I'm so proud of you for everything you've accomplished these last 13 years, and I wish you all the best on this next chapter of your life. MLA Rosen, on behalf of the students and staff at EDGE, I would like to thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to provide a video message to the class of 2020. For the last three years, I shared with the EDGE school grad classes that amazingly, new definitions for words were cropping up in the Oxford Dictionary courtesy of our very own Ed School graduates. Not to be outdone, the class of 2020 was the inspiration for yet another new entry. Their contribution was for the word resilience. Prior to this year, Oxford defined resilience as the ability to recover quickly after something unpleasant. The recently updated 2020 Oxford version includes the one just stated, but they have added another new Edge School Class of 2020 inspired definition. The new definition reads, Resilience. The quality possessed by the Edge School staff as a result of years of dealing with the antics of the Class of 2020. During tumultuous times, it can be particularly hard to imagine the future and what it might hold. Grats, I am sure that what is happening right now seems unfair. While this is true, recent circumstances have provided valuable experiential learning for some very important life skills. 
You are facing uncertainty and adversity, and you are learning to build that spirit of resilience just described in Oxford. One of the few certainties of life is uncertainty. The key is to learn to manage, not avoid that uncertainty. We hope you will continue to nurture and develop the skills necessary to read and respond to the unpredictable. More and more companies will be looking to hire people who are agile, flexible, adaptable in meeting the ever-changing challenges that lie ahead. We encourage you to embrace adversity as an opportunity for growth and for building personal resilience. Our next speaker graduated from Edge School in 2010 as a skier in our Flex Academy. After a year of competitive ski racing and another year teaching English in Thailand, Mick completed his undergrad in kinesiology at Acadia University. In 2019, Mick completed his master's and is currently pursuing his PhD in pulmonary physiology at UBC. To bring greetings on behalf of the EDGE alumni, it is my pleasure to welcome 2010 EDGE alumnus, Mick Leahy. Hello, class of 2020. My name is Mick Leahy and I am an alumnus from the graduating class of 2010. I am speaking to you today from Vancouver, BC uh, with my Edge School tie, nice little E there. I got this in 2007, 2008. So you would have been in kindergarten grade one. Uh, first, I would like to say thank you uh, for the honor of having me speak today. And thank you for the staff and volunteers that have put this graduation together during this unique time. Although circumstance requires us to be physically distant from one another, it is nice that we have this way of coming together during this milestone in your life. My soon-to-be fellow alumni, how are we feeling? Sitting there in your shoes 10 years ago, I was nervous. At the time, I was a closeted young guy who didn't really know what I was doing with my life. My classmates had placements lined up at Yale, Brown, Penn State, and other incredible sporting opportunities. I did not have a single university acceptance letter sitting in my mailbox. I was unsure of both myself and what I wanted to do with my life. I don't think I was fit for university quite yet, so I kept ski racing. I worked a few jobs, I traveled a bit, and looking back, I don't know how my family didn't lose it. I was all over the place. Over two years after my high school graduation, life started to have some clarity. Sometimes these decisions take time. I found an interest in studying something related to human physiology, sports, or medicine. Of course, that required going to university. This led to a string of experiences that ignited my interest in exercise physiology obtaining a master's of science degree at UBC, and now I'm a doctoral candidate and I work and coach some of the best uh, athletes in Canada. Now, I attribute a lot of those things of starting at the edge, but you can ask a number of teachers who taught me, Matt Brown, Ross, Miss Ellis, Miss Greening, Miss McNeil, Sarge, Mr. Taylor. I was a lovely kid, but my grades were not screaming future scientist except for maybe calculus, but that was a total exception. I think my high school transcript should be hung in the lobby for any student who feels like they're not good enough. It can be encrypted with, your results here don't necessarily define you. Because as many of you graduating know, the edge isn't just about a grade on a paper. It's about sculpting you into someone who has character, passion, and commitment. The edge is an experience in your life that has changed who you are today, much like a series of experiences that lie ahead of you. Now, I can't sum up 10 years of life experiences into a five minute speech, but I was asked to give you some insight into what life post-graduation is gonna look like. Um, but this might be glaringly obvious, it's gonna be completely different for each and every one of you. It certainly was for my graduating class. But being the stuffiest, Kind of scientist that I am, here are some hypotheses that I think have held true for most of my life post-graduation and some of my peers. First, 
Trust the process. This is something we tell our athletes leading into big competitions, uh, whether it be national championships or world championships, and I believe serves as an, as an appropriate reminder during life's milestones, much like today. This doesn't have to mean things happen for a reason, but trust what your emotions are telling you. Trust pain when it's there, because it's there for a reason. If you feel joy, lean into it. Embracing how we feel in trying times or in life's milestones makes us stronger as people. Second, lean on your family. Whether it be the one you're born into or the one you create for yourself, sometimes we tackle challenges in life on our own. And many of us now are gonna be leaving home and having new experiences away from our family. But having the courage to lean on your family when in need gets you further and shows incredible strength. Lastly, be vulnerable. Referencing some of the work by Dr. Brene Brown, a social scientist at the University of Texas, Houston, no one you look up to now got to where they wanted to be without choosing courage over comfort. Failing and face planting on the arena floor sucks, but I believe if you're an edge student, you have done that more than once. I would be much rather in struggle with my peers than sitting in the stands watching life happen before me. So, class of 2020, congratulations. You've completed an important part of your life. A great number of accomplishments lie ahead of you and welcome to the Edge alumni family. Miss Rachel Wilde and Dr. Chris Chizzy Chisimore will now present the Edge School class of 2020. A short biography will be read for each graduand as various pictures of the grad are displayed on the screen. Rohan Balagan. Rohan joined the Edge basketball program in his grade 12 year. He has had a great time and is thankful to everyone for being so friendly and welcoming to him. He would like to thank all his peers and teammates for making his experience at Edge memorable. He wishes good luck to all in their endeavors after Edge. Best of luck in the future, Rohan. Ty Bates. Ty attended Edge for his grade 11 year and was a member of the Midget Prep hockey team. This past year, Ty played for the Brooks Bandits. His favorite Edge memories are the road trips and just overall spending time with his Midget Prep teammates. There are too many fun memories to mention, but they will last a lifetime. Next year, Ty plans to return to Brooks to play for the Bandits. The following year, Ty plans to head to Colorado College to further his education and to play NCAA Division I hockey. He would like to thank all of his patient teachers and supportive coaches for the amazing memories and a high school experience that he will never forget. Good luck, Ty. Tho Beal. Tho would like to reflect on the many memories that this year has brought for him. He came to Edge to be a part of the basketball program and to finish his grade 12 year. Although the year was cut short, he still had fun times and learned so much throughout the time he was at Edge. Next up after high school is college basketball. This has been a dream of his since the ninth grade. Tho would like to thank all the staff, coaches, and all of his teammates that have helped him get through this amazing year. Best of luck in your future endeavors, Tho. Marin Brown. Marin came to Edge in grade 11. She still remembers her first encounters with the classmates she calls her friends today, like when Brie gave her a cough drop on the first day of social class and then told Brownie about it later. Marn has many soccer accomplishments that wouldn't have been possible without the help of her coaches and trainers, as well as the discipline and drive that Edge encourages. Thanks to the environment Edge provides, Marn was able to progress as a soccer player and is now ready to compete at the U sport level for the University of Lethbridge Pronghorns while completing her undergraduate degree. But for Marn, the best part of Edge was the relationship she made with Edge students and staff. There was always a teacher or trainer ready to help her achieve her goals and a classmate alongside her in the climb. She couldn't have asked for a greater group of students and teachers to be part of her last two years of high school. Best of luck in the future, Marn. Aaron Campbell. Aaron has great memories at Edge. All the laughs, all the late night talks, and all the sweat, so, so much sweat, with her teammates. Whether it was in DPC, on the ice, on the plane, on the bus, or at the Quality Inn, quality is a relative term in Hamilton, her teammates may have been there to share the ups and downs. Winning the Mandy Schwartz tournament, finishing first in the league, 
and winning the CSSHL championship this year are all highlights, but they do not compare to the camaraderie of her first edge team in grade 10, when almost everyone was new, and with coach Carla, they came together to be a team, a group of sisters. Erin was fortunate to carry that feeling with her for all three years at edge and to share it with the new players each year. Thanks to Bree and Isla for being there every step of the way, particularly in Chem 30. Erin will continue her education and her athletic career at the University of Aurora in Illinois, pursuing a Bachelor of Science in Biology in the pre-vet program and playing for the Spartan women's hockey team. Erin would like to thank her teammates, her coaches, particularly Carla, and her fellow graduates for all of the good times and all of the memories. She would also like to thank her parents for all of their support, nagging, oops, she meant encouragement, love, and most importantly, for making her come to that shadow day. You were right. Best of luck, Erin. Gabrielle Castro. During her three years at EDGE, Gabby has grown to become a more outgoing and confident individual. Some of her favorite memories involve dance competition seasons, theme days with friends, and supporting team home, team's home games. In the future, she would like to progress further in the dance industry and create many opportunities for herself. Gabby would like to thank her teachers and coaches for proving that she can always do more than she gives herself credit for. She would also like to thank her parents for their constant love and support. Great work, Gabby. Lorena Chikulese. Lola has had a wonderful time at EDGE. She plans on attending university after high school and pursuing her medical degree. She would like to thank her parents, teachers, and friends for supporting her and making her time at EDGE truly remarkable. She will never forget the wonderful memories she made at EDGE throughout her four years as a mountaineer and will cherish them always. Good luck in the future, Lola. Natalie Dixon. Natalie has attended the EDGE dance program since grade nine and officially became a mountaineer in her grade 10 year. Throughout her years at EDGE, she has made so many amazing memories with lifetime friendships. She would like to thank all of her teachers and coaches for always supporting her and believing in her when at times she had trouble doing so for herself and for always pushing her to achieve personal excellence. Her experience at the 2020 Youth America Grand Prix competition was her most proud and special athletics memory and she is grateful for the opportunities which have presented themselves because of this. In the future, Natalie plans to pursue a career in dance and is excited for what the future brings. Lastly, she would like to thank everyone who she has met during her years at EDGE as they have changed her life forever. Natalie is extremely grateful for everything which EDGE has brought her and all of the experiences and memories she has made along the way. Best of luck, Natalie. Brett Duffy. Brett has been at EDGE school for seven years. Brett played hockey on an EDGE team for four years and has also spent time volunteering and mentoring in the DPC. This year, Brett worked with the City of Calgary Fire Cadets program, and this summer, he'll be working as a junior forest ranger in Northern Alberta. Brett hopes to pursue a career as a firefighter, and his future goals are to become a captain or chief of a fire station while running his own business on the side. Brett would like to thank Ross McCain, Adam Redmond, Scotty Atkinson, and Josh Gosling for being amazing mentors for him. He would also like to thank all his family members for their support over these years. A shout out to all his friends and teammates for the fun times and memories. Brett would like to say a special thank you to his mom. No words can describe his gratitude for the sacrifices she has made for him to be here today. Congratulations on all your accomplishments, Brett. Mallory Dyer. Throughout her short time at EDGE, Mallory's most memorable moment was the energy in the arena during playoffs. Cheering on each team, wearing gold shirts, and especially playing in the final game and hearing all of the EDGE hockey players chant and cheer her on. Next year, Mallory plans to continue her education and hockey career at the University of Saskatchewan. She would like to thank her parents for all they have done for her throughout the years in helping her pursue her hockey career for the long weekends away and for the early morning ice times. Mallory would also like to thank her coaches throughout the years, teammates, and her supportive teachers. Congratulations, Mallory. Yvonne Ijim. Yvonne's memories at Edge will forever be with her. She wished it could have lasted longer, making more memories on the court and in the classroom. 
Yvonne's future goals are to become a professional basketball player and to represent Canada on the senior women's national team. She will be attending Gonzaga University, playing NCAA Division I basketball in the fall so that she can work towards these goals. Yvonne would like to thank all four of her teachers, Ms. Wild, Mr. LeBlanc, Ms. Finlayson, and Ms. Van Vliet for making her a better student. Thank you to Eddie, Elise, Brady, Kim, and Alyssa for making her a better athlete. Thank you to her teammates and friends at EDGE, and a huge thank you to her mom and siblings for loving and supporting her through it all. She's so glad she got to spend her last year of high school at EDGE over anywhere else. Good luck, Yvonne. Jessica Flagel. Although her time at EDGE was short, Jessica enjoyed every moment of it. Her favorite part about going to EDGE was spending time with her hockey team, whether it was in the DPC or on the road. Winning the CSSHL championship was her favorite moment from the year. In the future, Jessica plans on studying business and would like to get into the sport industry. She would like to thank all of the EDGE staff and students for making her feel welcome this year. She would also like to thank her parents for the endless support in her endeavors. Best of luck in the future, Jessica. Brett Friesen. Brett has attended EDGE for seven years. His favorite memory is the trip to Boston and getting to visit all the Ivy League schools. He swears he's going to live there one day. After graduation, he will be working with his dad at the family business while continuing his education and motocross racing as often as he can, with the ultimate goal of earning his pro racing status. Brett would like to thank his mom, dad and sisters for always loving and encouraging him, his teachers for supporting him, and God for blessing him. Best of luck, Brett, as you move on to the next chapter in your life. Luke German. Luke has enjoyed his time at EDGE since grade six. His best memories start as early as his time in the Skills Academy. He will never forget the many traditions created by his friends and him, such as Wednesdays at Joey's. He would like to thank all of his friends that have been a part of his journey since grade six and the special people he met in his final year. In the future, Luke plans to pursue hockey at the NCAA level and earn a business degree. Luke wants to give a big thanks to his parents for the endless support and sacrifices they have made. He would also like to thank his coaches, teachers, teammates, and friends. This year, Luke was the co-recipient of the Kyle Stewart Award. Great work, Luke. Best of luck. Natalie Gourlay. Natalie attended Ed School for her grade 12 year and was a member of the female prep basketball team. She has many great memories from the year, traveling with the basketball team, new friendships, and being able to prepare for the next steps in basketball in school. Natalie will attend Medicine Hat College in the fall and play for the basketball team. She is enrolled in the Bachelor of Commerce program and will make her way to the University of Victoria to complete her degree. Natalie would like to thank her parents for giving her the opportunity to attend EDGE, her teammates for a year full of love and laughter, and all of the teachers, coaches, and therapists who helped her throughout the year. Best of luck with your future endeavors, Natalie. Tori Holstein. Tori has had a wonderful time at EDGE. She joined the school in grade eight, not knowing that she would be there for the next five years. She was always seen with her friends laughing and having a good time. A special thanks goes out to Mrs. Ortiz and Mr. LeBlanc for always having the best conversations with her almost every day. Tori is a figure skater and loved every second of it. A special thank you to her coach, Kim Weeks, for making the sport so enjoyable. Next year, Tori is attending the University of Regina to begin her Bachelor of Education. Lastly, she would like to send a big thanks to all of her teachers, the staff, and students for making her time at EDGE a blast. Best wishes and congratulations, Tori. Zoe Hansinger. Zoe has been at EDGE school for six years. She has been part of the dance and flex program during this time. Her favorite memory of her time at EDGE was traveling to Australia on a senior dance trip with her friends, as well as traveling to various countries for ballet competitions. After graduation, Zoe plans on pursuing a kinesiology degree and incorporating her love and talents in dance along the way. Zoe would like to thank her parents for the ongoing love and support they have given her while she chased her dreams, as well as the EDGE staff for helping her reach her goals in both athletics and academics. Best of luck as you take on your new adventures, Zoe. Sophia Howell. 
Sophia will never forget her time at EDGE, from Mrs. Wilde's crazy Shakespeare classes to Mr. Henderson's chemistry experience. She is so grateful to have met so many amazing and inspiring people who she knows will be in her life for many years to come. After an exciting two years at EDGE, Sophia will be furthering her triathlon career at the National Performance Centre in Victoria and attending the University of Victoria. She would like to thank all of the staff, teachers, and especially her peers at EDGE for such an amazing experience. Sophia would also like to thank her mom who is and will forever be her greatest supporter as none of her success would be possible without her. Best wishes and continued successes, Sophia. Abby Jans. Abby has been in the EDGE dance program and at the school for three and a half years. She is grateful for all of the memories she has had here at EDGE. She will never forget and will miss everyone and everything dearly. She would like to thank her academic teachers for helping her and for continuously striving for academic growth in every student. Abby would especially like to thank her mother for all the sacrifices she had made for her and her unconditional support. She is proud to be leaving school with a positive perspective on the world ahead. Best of luck with all your future adventures, Abby. Caitlin Jockums. Caitlin's senior year at EDGE was full of amazing memories. An obvious highlight was winning playoffs in overtime against POE. Another memorable moment was winning the Tarkanian Classic with the basketball team in Vegas. Next year, she will be continuing her athletic and academic career, attending Cornell University and playing on their NCAA Division I hockey team. She would like to thank her parents for everything they've done and sacrificed for her. Caitlin would also like to thank the coaches, teachers, her teammates, and everyone at EDGE that played a part in making her graduating year so memorable. Best of luck, KJ. Aliyah Joma. Aliyah's time at Edge School is one she will not forget. The 45 minute car ride from Chestermere with her billet sister Bree, who is also graduating, will be missed, along with the laughs in the dressing room before practice and making TikToks during bio class. Her favorite memories in sport were winning the championship at the end of the year, along with winning the Mandy Schwartz Memorial Tournament in December. Aaliyah will continue to pursue her hockey aspirations by playing NCAA Division Hockey at RPI. She would like to thank her family, her friends, teachers, coaches, and the rest of the EDGE staff for the positive impact they had on her year at EDGE. We are so glad you could be a Mountaineer this year, Aaliyah. Best of luck. Pearl Kang. Pearl will never forget the amazing memories she made while attending EDGE. She would like to thank Mr. Banker for putting up with her in his Math 30 class and for playing nine square with them. Visiting Boston with her grade nine class was one of her favorite memories. Having the opportunity to compete at the Canadian Figure Skating National Championships was the highlight of her figure skating career. In the future, Pearl plans on attending the University of Waterloo to study actuarial science. She would like to thank her best friends for making every day full of laughter and happiness. She would also like to thank her family, teachers, and EDGE staff for supporting her along her journey. Best of luck to you, Pearl, as you take on your new adventures. Brie Kennedy. The past four years at EDGE have been nothing short of laughs and shenanigans for Brie. Whether it was dodging the Edgeware police, getting hyped up with the girls, or predicting when Carla was going to fall off the bench, these experiences brought her a great deal of joy. These memories would not have been possible if Brie had not crossed paths with coach Carla McLeod when she was 13. Brie is forever grateful for this. Although the past four years have been overrun with so many great memories, ending this year's season with a bang in playoffs definitely takes top rank. In addition, this year, Brie was the co-recipient of the Kyle Stewart Award. Brie plans to reunite with some former EDGE teammates as she ventures off to play hockey for the University of Alberta Pandas and pursue a degree in psychology. She would like to thank her family and the entire EDGE community for making her time at EDGE the best ever. Brie leaves the EDGE with an appreciation for the notion that big dogs gotta eat. Best of luck in your new adventures, Brie. Naomi Kent. Naomi came to Calgary from Kelowna, BC to play for the inaugural girls prep basketball team. Tournaments to Saskatchewan, Los Angeles, Las Vegas, Nova Scotia, and the home tournament brought the team closer together and made great memories. Naomi feels fortunate to have strong friendships and amazing teammates. Naomi enjoyed the DPC training and preparation EDGE provides for post-secondary life as a student athlete. Next year, 
Naomi will be furthering her basketball passion playing youth sport and attending the University of Regina to take actuarial science. She would like to thank her teachers who have high expectations and also pushed her to a higher level of education. She's also very thankful to her Calgary Homestay family. She would like to send a special thanks to Coach Eddie and Coach Elise for everything this year. Naomi would like to thank her parents for the opportunity to attend EDGE. Best of luck with your basketball and your studies next year, Naomi. Langley Krugel. Over the course of Langley's two years at EDGE, he has made lots of great friends and memories. One of his favorite classes was with Mrs. Wilde because she is such a great teacher and made an English class that he could enjoy. Langley's two seasons on the midget prep team brought him closer to people he can call his brothers and many of whom he will continue to keep in touch with. Because of these relationships and experiences, Langley is proud to call Calgary a home away from home. After graduation, he plans on playing junior hockey and working on obtaining a scholarship to play NCAA Division I hockey. He would like to thank his teachers and coaches for guiding him to improve himself academically and athletically, along with developing his character. Langley would like to thank the German family for opening up their home to him. Also, thank you to his parents and family for their sacrifices. He is truly appreciative of all they have done. Great work, Langley. Ryan Lee. Ryan came to EDGE this year as a member of the female prep basketball team. Joining the EDGE family in her grade 12 year, she has embraced this experience and made many new friendships along the way. Her most memorable time is when the team went to Vegas for a tournament and the game was stopped six minutes early. The referee thought the other team was going to throw some punches because Edge was beating them by so much. Next year, Ryan will attend Thompson River University playing youth sport basketball with the Wolfpack women's basketball team. Ryan would like to thank her parents, teammates, and coaches for giving her every tool to succeed at the post-secondary level. Best of luck with your academic and athletic pursuits, Ryan. Aaron Lloyd. Aaron came to join the EDGE basketball program all the way from the Bahamas. He has enjoyed meeting new people, experiencing different cultures, and developing his basketball skills. The transition from the Bahamas to Calgary and EDGE school was not easy, not only because the weather was cold, but the academics and athletics were all very different. Aaron is happy to say that he has taken on these challenges and grown as a person. Ready to take on the future, he would like to thank his teachers, coaches, and administrators for pushing him to be in this position today. We are excited for your future, Aaron. Best of luck. Jessamine Matson. Jess would like to thank all the teachers and coaches who made her experience at EDGE incredible. Extra big thanks to Mr. LeBlanc who had the misfortune of having her in his class three times this year. And to Kim, who let her invade the younger sessions so she could get some extra ice time in. Jess is grateful to all her classmates for making the school such a positive learning environment. She will miss the early morning studying and the lunch table debates. In the fall, Jess will attend McGill University and join the figure skating team there. She would like to thank everyone who made this experience at EDGE possible. Good luck, Jess. Nicole May. Nicole joined the EDGE family in her grade 12 year and played hockey for the female prep team. She enjoyed her year at EDGE, especially her teammates and the new friendship she made. Her favorite memory is in Ms. Wilde's language arts class when Merlot's triangle was born and in Mr. LeBlanc's calculus class when we discovered water was enslaved. Spending 20 minutes electrocuting ourselves and each other in Mr. LeBlanc's physics class was also a close second. Of course, nothing can beat winning the CSSHL championship. Next year, Nicole plans to attend the UFC Haskins School of Business for a dual degree in business and science. She would like to thank the teachers for being supportive and accommodating during the year, and especially in these challenging times. Also, her coaches and teammates for such a fun and successful year and the memories that go with that. In addition, she would like to thank her friends that were so supportive and welcoming to her this year. We wish Nicole all the best in her future pursuits. Sam McGinley. Sam came to EDGE in grade 10 to play for the Elite 15 hockey team. He has had a lot of great memories from his time at EDGE. The unforgettable bus trips with the team and winning the Delta Hockey Tournament in Vancouver are highlights. Sam plans to continue his hockey career with the Swift Current Broncos in the Western Hockey League and pursue online coursework. Sam would like to say thank you to everyone 
that has helped him get to where he is today and for all of the support throughout the years. Best of luck with hockey next year, Sam. Jared Miller. Jared is thankful for all the great people he got to meet during his time at Edge. Jared's future plans are to continue playing junior hockey in Lloydminster and eventually attend post-secondary. He would like to thank his parents for all of their sacrifices they have made for him. Also to the coaches, teachers, and teammates for making his three years here so memorable. He gives his best wishes to his fellow graduates in the future and will miss them all. Good luck in the future, Jared. Luke O'Brien. Luke has been at Edge for five years and is a member of the Midget Varsity team. His favorite memory at Edge was winning the tournament in Anaheim in grade 11. Next year, Luke plans to attend the University of Calgary and pursue a bachelor's degree in business and looks forward to experiencing university. Luke would like to travel before starting a career and a family. He would like to thank his friends that welcomed him to Edge his first year and made him feel comfortable in a new school. Luke would also like to thank the teachers and coaches for shaping him into a student and person who will be successful. He also wants to thank his family for supporting him through school and sport. Best of luck, Luke. Luke Prokop. Luke wishes he could have gotten the chance to get to know more Edge students outside of school. But with the WHL Calgary Hitmen and academic schedule, it was almost impossible. With that being said, Luke had a great two years at Edge. His first year, he was lucky enough to have Pearl in his class, who definitely did not let him sit in the back and stay silent. She would always ask him questions about hockey and his life outside the rink. Luke would like to thank Pearl for making him feel welcome. Luke would also like to thank Miss Frid for her help this year with himself and the team. Lastly, Luke would like to thank the teachers for the tremendous job of keeping the team organized and all the extra help. Best of luck with hockey and with post-secondary, Luke. Thanks for being a mountaineer and a hitman. Britton Robson. Britton, or Robbie, has made many memories at Edge as a member of the golf program with an exceptional coach, Randy Robb, and a great group of kids every year. From the ups and downs of games at Springbank links to the amazing golf trips. They were amazing because they were with friends and teammates playing a sport he loves. Britton would like to thank the staff at Edge for everything they have done for him. His parents for the sacrifices they made for him, especially driving from Airdrie to the school every day. And most of all, he would like to thank the friends he has made at Edge. They make going to school fun and something to look forward to daily. Best of luck on the links, Britt. Olivia Runquist. From the start, Olivia was very excited to become an Edge student. She got in the car after her shadow day and told her mom, best day ever. It was amazing to her that she could dance and finish school all at the same time. Every day brought something new, whether it was in class, rehearsal, or the day with friends. There was never a dull moment. From the day she stepped out of her first dance class, Olivia always wanted to pursue dance as a career. Starting at Edge in grade 6, with the guidance and support of her teachers, she was able to continue growing and evolving into the dancer and person she is today. She would like to thank her parents for the endless number of sacrifices they make for her, still to this day, which enable her to work on her dreams and make them into realities. Also, she would like to thank her coaches, teachers, dance family and classmates for making her years at Edge very memorable. Great work, Olivia. Kale Sanders. Kale has been an Edge student and hockey team member for four years. This past year, he played in Regina for the Pats. Kale has had some great memories from his Edge experiences. Every day before practice, he remembers listening to the team's favorite songs and everyone would be singing their hearts out. His best memories at Edge are of the St. Andrews tournament and spending time with his friends and teammates on and off the ice. He would like to thank his parents, coaches, and teachers for everything they have done for him in the last four years at Edge. Good luck in the future, Kale. Parker Saka. Parker has created many memories throughout the years at Edge. The most memorable times being on the long bus rides in Bantam and Midget with his teammates. Whether it was on the bus or in class, Parker enjoyed his classmates company. Parker's best sporting memory is when he won the Delta tournament with 30 seconds left in the game. In the future, Parker will pursue junior hockey in Okotoks, working towards an NCAA Division I scholarship. 
he would like to give a heartfelt thank you to his parents, who have driven him to countless practices and games, sacrificing time in their own lives to raise him and get him to the place he is today. To the coaches, teachers, and all EDGE staff, thank you for helping to give him the best experience possible. Best of luck, Sox. Tyler Schellenberg. Tyler has made great memories and connections while attending EDGE. Tyler has focused his efforts on his dance training and has grown so much in this area of his life. One of Tyler's favorite memories is traveling to Japan for dance, experiencing the different culture and going to Disney Sea with the amazing team he was a part of. Tyler would like to thank all the coaches, teachers, teammates, and all other EDGE staff members for making his time at EDGE great. Wishing you all the best, Tyler. Owen Shantz. Owen has been at EDGE for four years as a member of the hockey program. His favorite hockey memory is playing in the Anaheim tournament and winning it against all odds. Next year, Owen plans to pursue hockey and is looking forward to the opportunities that this will bring. He would like to thank his parents, coaches, friends, and family for all of their support over the years. Best of luck, Owen. Hunter Smith. Hunter is grateful for her time spent at EDGE and wants to thank all of her dance teachers who invested so much time in her even when they didn't have to. She would also like to thank her family for their unconditional support, her academic teachers who sparked an excitement for learning, and all the friends she has made in her three years at EDGE. She will continue to cherish memories of school and dance and will miss playing Nine Square dearly. Following graduation, she will be moving to New York to pursue a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in dance. Best of luck, Hunter. Hayden Southern. Hayden has gained lifelong memories and friends throughout his time at EDGE. The bonds he created with his teammates and friends here are something he's extremely grateful for. His favorite sporting memory is winning the Anaheim tournament in 2018 with Midget Varsity. His future plans are to continue playing hockey for as long as he can and eventually pursuing a career as a sports medicine physician. Hayden would like to thank all the staff, coaches and trainers that encouraged him to make the most of his time at the school. He also wants to thank all of his fellow students for creating memories that made his time at EDGE so special. Most importantly, he would like to thank his parents for all the love, dedication and energy they provided for him to be successful. Good luck, Hayden. Kurt Stadelweiser. During his time at EDGE, Kurt has made friendships that will last a lifetime and memories that will stay with him forever. He would like to thank all his teachers, classmates, and coaches for making the past three years the best years of his life. Kurt would like to especially thank Coach Gosling, who helped him with so much more than just hockey and deserves a lot of credit for the growth of the varsity program over the last couple years. Next year, Kurt will be attending Western University for software engineering and honors business administration. Thank you to everyone who has helped him get to this point in his life. Best of luck in the future, Kurt. Justin Sothopoulos. Justin has had some great memories at EDGE, starting from the time he arrived in 2012. These range from doing a group dance at the EDGE Olympics to dissecting a pig in bio class. The most important lesson that Justin has learned from being at EDGE is that character always wins in the end. His biggest accomplishment in terms of athletics was most definitely winning the prestigious St. Andrews McPherson tournament. It took a lot of effort and perseverance to win against such great teams. Justin plans on continuing his hockey journey in the small town of Bonneville for another season and hopefully gain a scholarship sometime soon. He would like to thank all the teachers, coaches, parents, and the grad committee who have worked extremely hard to give the class of 2020 a graduation to remember. Take care, Justin, and best of luck to you. Grace Stuve. Grace would like to thank all of the EDGE coaches and teachers for making these last two years something she will always cherish and remember. She would like to thank Miss Wild for always being there to listen during the weekly gossip updates about their lives. One of Grace's favorite memories was going across the world with some of her best pals and her dance teachers while stuffing their faces with gelato every chance they got. In the future, Grace plans on pursuing her love for dance. She will start this journey in Los Angeles next year with the Millennium Certificate Dance Program. Grace would like to thank her dance family for helping her become the best she possibly can. Lastly, she would like to thank her mom for supporting her every step of the way 
especially through the challenging times. Best of luck, Grace. Lucas Surrey. Lucas has spent the last four years at Edge and he would not give it up for anything in the world. Edge has provided Lucas with his best friends, mentors, and a sport that he will love for the rest of his life. The unforgettable memories that he has made at Edge will always be cherished, from sitting on the green monster in Fenway Park with his classmates to chasing rampant balls that escaped the golf room. As for the future, Lucas is planning on studying materials engineering at the University of Florida with the ultimate goal of working for TaylorMade to design new products for the PGA Tour. Lucas is incredibly thankful to the Lord, his parents, his teachers, and his friends for an amazing first 17 years of life. He is excited to start the next chapter and we wish him all the best. Olivia Sutton. Olivia has had an amazing time at Edge. She enjoyed going to class with her teammates every day and then running to practice after school. Winning the CSSHL championship was her favorite sporting memory. She will never forget cheering on other teams in gold t-shirts at playoffs with her teammates. Next year, Olivia will be pursuing a U Sports hockey career while attending university at St. FX in Nova Scotia. She would like to thank her amazing parents for helping her accomplish her dreams. Have fun and good luck, Olivia. Emily Thompson. Emily's experience at Edge is one that she considers life-changing and will therefore cherish and remember forever. Emily became an Edge student in grade eight. She considers the community her family with personal relationships and memories to last a lifetime, including traveling the world and exploring the dance community with her best friends. Edge has allowed Emily to transform into the young adult she is today. From the mission statements to the literal feeling of a second family, this is a place she will always call home and couldn't imagine spending the past few years anywhere else. She would like to thank everyone who has been part of her journey at the school and has contributed to her personal growth. Emily would most importantly like to thank her parents for giving her the opportunity to attend the school that she values immensely. Her favorite moments at Edge extend from Lloyd's roller skating to crying when Shine on You won the pit challenge to Camp Chief Hector and Evergreen and Maroon and Gold Days and many, many more. Once a mountaineer, always a mountaineer. We would like to acknowledge Emily as the University of Toronto Book Award recipient and as this year's Edge Schulich Leadership Award nominee. Congratulations, Emily. Isla Wick. Isla took on a huge transition three years ago when she decided to leave her home in Japan to join Edge School. Over her time at Edge, seeing her teammates every day was the best part. Even though the female prep team is weird in their own way, Isla had one of her best team experiences with them. In the future, Isla wishes to keep working to become the best person she can be, remembering all the life lessons and memories she made at Edge. Isla wants to say thank you to her family for giving her all of the opportunities she has gotten, and to her coaches and teachers for doing their best to let her have the greatest high school experience she could ever ask for. Best of luck in your future endeavors, Isla. Nolan Woodski. Nolan will cherish his four years at Edge, from Kelly blasting music early in the morning to wake up the boys, all the way to the funniest classes with Mrs. Wilde, where English was the last topic of conversation. His best memories were from the many long Boston trips that he got to experience and winning the Anaheim tournament with the varsity team. He would like to thank his parents for allowing him to pursue his goals while having the best time of his life at Edge. Also to all the teachers, coaches, and students who are part of the unforgettable memories made there. Great job, Nolan. Best of luck in the future. Thank you, Chizzy and Miss Wilde. The Edge School mission is to build a culture of personal excellence in academics, athletics, and character. Implied in that mission is a strong desire to equip you, our student athletes, with the knowledge, skills, and attitudes that will enable you to become positive contributors in society. As Mark Twain once said, the two most important days of your life are the day you were born and the day you find out why. Grats, we encourage you to find a sense of purpose in your work and in your life. Think about what brings you joy, discover your why, and pursue it with all of your energy, passion, and commitment.
It is now time to present our major graduation awards. Our first award is the Athletic Achievement Award, which is presented to the graduating student who has earned extraordinary athletic accomplishments during his or her time at the school. This award acknowledges the pursuit of personal excellence in athletics. There are two recipients of the Athletic Achievement Award this year. Congratulations to Yvonne Ejim and Zoe Hansinger. Our next award is the Mountaineer Award, which is presented to the graduating student who has demonstrated exceptional work ethic throughout his or her time at the school. This award acknowledges the continuing pursuit of building character through hard work, diligence, and extraordinary effort in all endeavors. The Mountaineer Award winner for 2020 is Emily Thompson. The Principal's Award is presented to the graduating student who has demonstrated exceptional commitment to the school's integrated spheres model throughout his or her time at the school. This award acknowledges the continuing pursuit of personal excellence in balancing character, academics, and athletics. The Principal's Award recipient for the Class of 2020 is Bree Kennedy. The President's Award is presented to the graduating student who has offered the school inspired leadership throughout his or her time at the school. This award acknowledges the continuing pursuit of leadership in its most important forms, spirit building, dedication, and commitment to matters beyond the four walls of the classroom and into the school and the community at large. Our President Award winner is Pearl Kang. The Governor General's Bronze Medal Award recipient will be announced next week via social media once all of the grades have been tabulated. Congratulations to all of the award recipients. In order to introduce our next speaker, staff members were asked to provide words that best describe Pearl Kang. So please welcome our fun-loving, spirited, involved, caring, authentic, and kind valedictorian for the class of 2020, Miss Pearl Kang. Dear class of 2020, we did it. We're finally here, but it wasn't easy. Throughout our last year as Mountaineers, we have been thinking about how we are going to finish an essay for Mrs. Waldentime, our strategies for winning the Mountain Cup, and how we're going to make our graduation one to remember. We've imagined pulling all-nighters to study for the diplomas. We've imagined our plans beyond high school, whether that be university or sport related. We imagine walking across the stage with a diploma in hand and saying our final farewells to the teachers and staff that have guided us throughout our journey. However, we never envisioned our last few months of high school being taken away from us without a single goodbye. All of a sudden, we were living in a daunting reality, unsure of what the future we've planned for ourselves would look like. The COVID-19 virus was heartbreaking in so many ways, but it has taught us that we do not have the ability to prepare for everything in life as we do not know the surprises that may be thrown away, and it has taught all of us resilience against adversity. While this may not be the conventional ceremony we are expecting, this is still a day to recognize and celebrate the hard work and achievements displayed by our class and to reminisce about the time we have spent together. Whether we have been together for the past six years or six months, we have all had the frightening but exhilarating experience of stepping into EDGE for the very first time. On my first day at EDGE, I walked through the hallways lost and worried about how I would fit in amongst people who are all talented and gifted. I was enveloped by the fear of not being good enough and thought I could never even compare myself to the others surrounding me. However, I quickly realized that we have all been bound together to the inspiration and motivation we receive by watching each other succeed. Positivity and encouragement radiates through everyone in this graduating class, and I cannot explain how incredibly proud I am of the days we have lifted each other up in times of darkness or celebrated with each other during times of triumph and victory. We really have been together through it all. On the days we'd beg our teachers to watch the game and cheered until our voices were lost. 
but when we'd fight to be first to use the microwave during lunch, when we'd study together in hopes of just passing the upcoming biology test, and for whenever we needed to laugh or cry, we have always and will always be there for each other. Growing up at Edge has given the word family a new meaning, and I'm so lucky to have that family extended every year. While the students have grown and matured together, none of us would be where we are today without the support we continually receive from the teachers, coaches, and staff at EDGE. From the caretakers who arrive at the school at 6 a.m. every day to maintain a safe and clean environment for us to learn in. The cafeteria staff who never fail to satisfy our hunger while always giving us a good laugh. The office staff who seem to be able to organize our lives better than we can. The coaches, who have taught us lessons that we couldn't have learned in a classroom, who push us to strive for personal excellence and who always lead by example. Finally, our teachers, no amount of thank yous will ever justify how much we appreciate the time and effort you have put into our learning. You have steered us to realize that we can achieve brilliant goals that are beyond the walls of our school and have believed in us when we didn't believe in ourselves. While we've learned trigonometry, history, and how to change the color of a key, our teachers have also taught us to be diligent, compassionate, and to create a future for ourselves that we'll love. A new chapter in life is always intimidating, but the staff at EDGE have equipped us with the right resources to prosper and succeed in the next phase of our lives. And finally, to our parents and families, thank you for allowing us to have these amazing opportunities. Thank you for driving us to all of our practices, games, and competitions, and for always being our biggest fans. Thank you for providing your love and care to ensure for us to have a bright future. I wish we all could have had one last taco Tuesday, one last game of nine square, one last talk with Miss Frid, one last workout with Ross, one last Edge Olympics, and one last class all together. My heart is so full from the friends I have made and the people I have met. And this will truly be the hardest goodbye I've ever had to face. We have all had different experiences and made different memories in the past 13 years. But we all stand together today, looking forward into a future of limitless possibilities. I hope that wherever life takes you, you achieve everything you want and more. And I wish you the best in the next part of your journey. However busy and challenging our lives may get, we'll always have our time together as Mountaineers. I believe artist Post Malone said it best because no matter how my life has changed, I keep on looking back on better days. Love, Pearl. To bring closing remarks, I would like to introduce our assistant principal, Miss Lori Gaffney. Good afternoon, Mountaineers. Congratulations on getting here. Congratulations to you too, parents, on getting them here. Several of us on staff also have children who are graduating this year, and we share with you this great sense of pride and accomplishment. Grads, thank you for this opportunity to provide the closing remarks for today's ceremony. I'm standing here on our field with these stunning Rockies in the background, hoping that this is a view you will never forget. It makes sense to me this year, probably more than any other year, to use these mountains as a metaphor for you. Today, let 49 peaks of this mountain range be a tribute to you, the EDGE graduating class of 2020. The cool thing about mountains is that they're always growing despite the constant forces of wind and rain and snow. They reach out from beneath the Earth's surface and become these natural monuments of strength and beauty and resilience. When I'm out here on lunch supervision, I look at them with amazement and awe, the same way that your parents, teachers and coaches look at you, wondering what the forces of nature and time will do to shape who you become. I'm not going to address any of the forces that may have held you back in some manner over the years. Rather, I would like to address the beauty and strength that comes from those experiences. Like you, these mountains don't let anything hold them back. They fight through the wind, the rain, and the snow to become this. This place where people come from all over the world to enjoy. Those forces of nature try and wear these mountains down. But against all odds, something amazing happens instead. The resilience of these mountains reveals peaceful streams, stunning waterfalls, and majestic lakes. The resilience you have shown reveals the same level of defiance. Let none of you ever be worn down by forces within or beyond your control. 
Like the mountains, take control and create those peaceful streams, waterfalls, and lakes. As I said, people come from all over the world to see these mountains. Make no mistake, you are all this great. Choose your peak today, as there is one for each of you. Claim it as your own, and if you ever feel lost, walk towards that peak, and you'll soon be home. Congratulations, Brad. We are all so proud of you. Today and always, you are all mountaineers. Have fun tonight, be safe, and be kind. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Gaffney. Grads, as you go about the business of celebrating your last 13 years of formal education, I encourage you to take some time today to thank those who provided you with support, guidance, and unconditional love along the way, especially your parents. Please be safe and look after yourselves and each other. Okay, this is the moment that you've been waiting for. In a symbolic gesture of the end of this chapter of your lives, it is customary for you to toss your caps into the air. So let's do this on the count of three. One, two, three. Celebration to last throughout the years.